Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alamin. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd habita fillah understanding tawheed is the most important thing and where we begin our da'wah our da'wah ila Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because that's what tawheed is it's calling to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it's calling to the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone and with that being said, Habitifillah, we have to understand that Tawheed, as the ulama have deduced from the text, from the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet, وسلم, and with the understanding of the Salaf of this Ummah, that Tawheed, watch, some of this is deep. Come, come. Some of this is deep. Come on, keep up with me. That Tawheed Habitifillah has three categories. Tawheed has three categories. The first category, Habitifillah, is Tawheed Arububiyah, the Lordship of Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala, meaning that Allah is the Lord of all things and He is the Creator of all things subhana and all of those characteristics which refer to the lordship refer to lordship that one is sovereign and that one is everything else is dependent upon him and that is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala there's nothing else that everything else is dependent upon And those things that are contained in the creation that other things that are dependent on, for example, air, we need air, we need our bodies, need water. Those things are dependent upon Allah Azza wa Jal because He created. He created those substances. And He created our substance and our sustenance. And the second category of Tawheed Habatifillah is Tawheed Al Ibadah. The worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone is that it's the Tawheed which refers to how the servant actualizes or their relationship with the creator of the heavens and earth. Tawheed Al Ibadah or Tawheed Al Uluhiyah, they also refer to it as. And this means that all the worship, anything that can be def defined as worship, belongs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that Lord that we were referring to, the Lord of the heavens and earth, the Lord of all things. So, that is the second category of Tawheed. The third category of Tawheed, Ahabit Filah, is Tawheed al Asma'i wa Sifat, is the Tawheed or the monotheism which refers to the divine names and attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala things that uh, characteristics like these are divine characteristics that refer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala like he is the most merciful he is the most beneficent he is the all seeing he is the all hearing he is the all-seeing and the all-hearing. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. Those are divine characteristics because, be careful gentlemen, because they only belong to the creator of the heavens and earth. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, لَيْسَ كَمِثْلِهِ شَيْءٍ basir. So dig your heels into this gentlemen because it's uh, a little bit Tough, careful. Laysa kamithlihi shay'un, shay'un, wuhuwa sami'un basir. There is nothing which is like him. So letting us know that our characteristics, our sifat that we have, are not like the creator of the heavens and earth, not like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. His are unique. Laysa kamithlihi shay, wuhuwa sami'un basir. Letting us know that Allah contains divine attributes, 
in names. Al Basir, Al Samir. But his, his, he's the all seeing, the all hearing, whereas our hearing inside is limited. We can't even see beyond the sight that you can see with this camera. We cannot see beyond that. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sees and hears everything. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.